Um, later Last minute phone calls. Okay. It's okay. time to depart Bye. the marina. Bye. He's open, waiting for you. So we've got Lynette of Alicat just giving his hand for the extra hands to get through today. And we're heading for our shot into the lot. On our way out. Oh. It's always stressful trying to get through a lock. Not much change. How much? We change? How much difference in height? Oh, not much. The tide, the tide must be out. Oh, you found Wilson. Oh, Wilson's floating in the. So we've just filled up with fuel. There's our Jerry's on the front as backup, and we're just in there. The Layla's have now pulled in to fill up our last little bit for the next few months. Hopefully, we'll be right. Or well, we're just going to have to make make the most of the wind. We're off through the lock, fueled up. And we're going to sit out the front until tomorrow, just too late today. Yeah. So there's the fuel dock and there's the lock. So we've just been through there. Now we're heading out. And it's a really tight spot because it's so shallow. Are we low tide at the moment? High. High tide. High tide at the moment, but it's very shallow through here. We've got to follow the leads out. Oh, we're out of the marina. Week and a half. Fenders are out. Everything's out. Uh, extra fuel, there's in the locker, mad panic. We're just going to head over there to Fanny Bay, we'll sit there for tonight um, as we're leaving a little bit too late in the day to get any further. So, goodbye Darwin. Hello, are we going to go straight down to Fanny Bay or are you going right out and around? I reckon. I reckon we can cut through on this channel because the tide's riding. So we've got five metres of water, that's where all the charter boats at night go. This way we can go around the corner and get away from Darwin completely. So that's Fanny Bay, we were going there but we're not now. There's Darwin City and the marina, which at least are pretty close. Uh, walking distance if you choose to, but it's probably a bit hot for walking distance. So we're just going to go around Cox Peninsula and see if we can find somewhere around there to anchor for tonight. Look how flat that water is. So we've just just left Darwin, sailed to our first island just around in Port Patterson, I think it is, at Quail Island, which is up there. This is what's challenging about coming into a spot to anchor for the night is we're basically on the green, which is basically above water and we're still in 2.6 metres of water. Under kill, sorry, that's under kill. And there is land. It's a little bit out. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a massive crop. <laughs> so 
okay? Yeah, I did. I'm not, not lying. Just saying, I'm not lying there because this old mate coming up the thing will run me over. Is the tide still on its way? Oh, you just checked, didn't you? I think it's going out just yeah. a little bit more, yeah. So, uh, 4 o'clock, I think. 4.30 or 5 or something. So what do you want to do with the anchor? Just had about a metre. Oh, watch, and what have you got on your feet, Chris? Same as feet. Oh. <laughs> Where's your shoes? Wasn't that the shoe rule? Hey, there we go! <laughs> Chris is hoping for a, a water hole so we can swim. Oh, look over there, that's one. The boys are off exploring. Chris has found a little lagoon and he's hoping there's no crocs in it so he could go for a swim, but I don't know, they're over the other side, walking over the rocks. Oh, that's probably why they're struggling because this is sharp and they're bare feet. It does look pretty cool wherever they are. Their heads were up. Oh dear. Pretty sad. Why didn't you take your t-shirts off? Why didn't you just go in your undies? If I put these on, but it'd be a bit revealing. Oh right, you've got white ones and you're going to be those. Hey. Okay. <laughs> and otherwise he's got his bow shorts and nothing else. You're gonna get in or I'm not gonna get your clothes wet? No, I'm not getting my clothes wet. It's beautiful, guys. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bugger of a steak. <laughs> Karen's drowning. Hole. It'd be beautiful if it was fresh water. Yeah, if it was fresh water, it'd be perfect. Yeah. A couple of days, that'll be. Are you missing something again? Nothing. We're Nothing. With fine. This Nothing. Is, this, is like a, this is this is foot massaging. Foot massaging. Well, yeah, come on, it, walk man. quicker then. So you've had oh. your neck massage and back massage, and now yeah. Foot then when they walk across the uh, hot coals, it's all in the mind. That's right. It's like you just got to walk yourself into it. Shit, it hurts. It's all in the mind. Little bridge. There we go. You two boys happy? No, we want drinks. Did we you bring them? Should have brought them. We're disappointed that no drinks were brought in. Well, this would be a perfect spot for drinks. Well, Pete was going to bring a drink. And Karen told me it's too early. He said, should I see if Joe wants to bring a drink? I went, see what time it is? I thought and it was anchor oh, o'clock. Yeah. That meant beer. Yeah, I thought so too. Oh, I was a bit tempted, but then I thought I should wait until five. Is it warm? It's lovely. It's beautiful. It looks too warm. No, 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 it's nice. And there's it's no nice movement. Temperature. I prefer the other one. No, there's only one thing wrong with this. This is a wee spot. You don't, you don't put your feet. That don't put your feet too far that way. It's a big crab. He's respecting. He, he's he's got out. that side of the pond. We have this side of the pond, so it's all good. Okay, so you're sharing. We're sharing. Yeah. <laughs> We're watching our toes. If anyone oh, screams, yeah. you watch how fast we get up. Pete's toes are up. There they are. He doesn't trust that crab. I don't trust him. Chill, hit your side. Your side. It's nice. You should be in. Where's your sonny, darling? Yeah, they're back on the boat. In two pieces. Are you squinting? You're yeah, gonna get facing this way. You'll get, the best. you'll get wrinkles. It's quite nice in there. It's like one of those fish bars that you go to Bali for. See? We don't need shoes. You guys talk it up too much. Do you put your anchor out a fair way? <laughs> Where's your fender? On the... <laughs> we got the wheels down, 
Come on, we're good today. <laughs> the sand's hard. No, it won't. We'll never go backwards. Oh? I'm never going backwards. Right, yeah. So if we keep it spinning a bit, don't let it pivot on the one wheel, you'll be all right. Right, keep it, move it forward a bit as you go. <laughs> we're not moving forward. There we are. There we're fine. There we are. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's a rope, 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 rope. Oh, and I got chain. Oh, jeez, I got chain around my legs. Bit of a break of wave coming in. Wait, we're side on! We're side on! That's all we want! That don't take good. Thank God we're already wet. <laughs> Alright, now we're good. Give us another big one. We're just arriving into Cape Ford. Nice little bay, hopefully it's protected and not too rolly tonight. It looks a bit smoky. Yeah. I wonder what that's from. So we're just gonna aim for over there. It's a bit of a sandy strip. Away from the crocodile creek. Yeah. And away from just there, which is a crocodile creek. Well it's a creek. And there's always crocodiles in creeks we're assuming, so we'll Yeah, so we'll avoid that area. Because um, we want to go for a walk on the beach. The I know, but it's going to give us an amazing sunset though. Well, if you fell, I would have had a good shot. That's it, just runs. Well, Jesus, we did say. Dirt head. <laughs> Didn't we say it's getting shallow? But no, let's keep going flat chat. We would have went for miles. But you said, no, I don't want to use my, lose my plane. <laughs> oh yeah, as we come to a standstill. Well, you can see the bottom just. Yeah. It's yeah. very clear. That is very shallow. I think we're on it. Get the wave, here we go. Oh, you're joking. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, we're, that's, that's a reason we'll walk in. Are you colder than yesterday? Yeah. Or am I just softer? <laughs> wow. I had, a, I had a, a, a long sleeve top on and my long hey, pants on today. Pants and long sleeves on the top. I had a blankie. Anyone <laughs> I had a towel and over a, me. And a um, <laughs> she took my towel. Off? Soft shell Kathmandu fleece line jacket. But you're out in the weather. I was actually in the cavern and I was still bloody oh, cold. They don't care what they eat. Oh, yeah, what's that over there? What is that? There's a something over there. What a beach. It's huge. I'm trying to work out if that's a crocodile log. Really? Don't go too close. You've got to drink. Are you shitting? Because that's huge then. No, that's big. Is it really? Don't go in the water! <laughs> it's a boy thing. It's a boy thing. They're still going. Chris, I think that's enough! Oh, look at the sunset. Oh, what do I video? Them or the sunset? I'm thinking it is, Pete. You've convinced me, but why is it so far in? Now, Liam, he's, he's definitely a crop. Well, no swimming on this beach. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> it's not dead. Here's the track. Now it stinks. Right. It stinks. Well, something stinks. Right. I said something stinks. Oh, it's this one. I can't believe there's a crocodile just laying there. Now let's not forget there is a crocodile lying there. <laughs> I got excited. I didn't know what to video first: the sunset or you by the crocodile. 
going to have to start bringing a bigger shell bag. What's that? That's oh, pretty crap. sticky. We go big, we'll go home today. Well, the size yeah. of the Nautilus. Yeah, like even the croc. Even the crocodile. That's only a baby croc. That's uh, still, it's like. Oh! Oh, oh, oh well the done, bar. Pete. Oh, Pete, you are on a promise. No, no. <laughs> and that one there? That's not bad either. That's not bad. It's a tiny little hole. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, not, bad. not bad though. Sorry. You need to clean that one out, Pete. We left Cape Ford this morning, 7.30 in the morning. Uh, we've got a reasonable day ahead of us. Oh, what was the distance again? 45. 45. You really told me and I still forgot. Um, and we've got, we're, we're sitting on 20, 25 knots of wind, so we're on um, second reef and just a little bit of Janara out. And the swell, the, the wind chop was really sloppy. So we've got our screen up to um, just stop some of the salt coming in. So my lovely boat, which was clean from the marina, is now all covered in salt, which will have to last us for the next few months. What's happened? We had 25 oh, knots, double reef, reef no head sail. We had more than 25 at some stage. But now we're down to 4.4. <laughs> Just dribbling. And we're not moving. So that's the difference between 7 o'clock this morning, or was it 8 o'clock this morning, and 12 o'clock. And we only want to go just up there. We haven't got far to go. So I am um, for my engine on so I doing um, about the same with uh, 2.7 knots of wind. Cheetah! He didn't tell us! Oh, he didn't <laughs> tell us, Bill, he's going to tell you. So um, we're moving. No, we're very not. Very slow. We're doing speed over ground. Our official eight. boat speed is uh, oh, that's point the one. For Chris to notice my speed, um, <laughs> six knots, and it question how I was doing six knots with <laughs> 2.7 knots of Our official boat speed is yeah, zero. Like that, now probably about three minutes ago, I waved the red, uh, the white flag <laughs> and went, I give up. That's alright. We're so close, it's just there. So this is James Point on Dorchity Island. If I got that right, I'm not sure. I didn't even realise it was an island. I thought it was part of the mainland. Looks like a nice little bay. This is a massive, massive beach. Tides right out. That's one huge tree that's floated in. You want to hit that with the boat? That's a big log. That is a big log. <laughs> and he wasn't moving before, so I can't see him. The um, the crab moving much now. The hermit crab. Be laying down there for a while. Yep. He's on a mission to run. <laughs> That's a long way. Anchor out. What about that log? We can sit on the edge of the tender. Time we drag it out. Well, do you know that now we're in WA? So, and from, from memory, Pete said he hadn't been. So, I gather this is the third state now for you guys. Yes, it is. I oh, just woke up. He must have heard you. <laughs> Well, that's exciting, so another border cross. Yeah, um, we've had quite nice, um, you know, invite dip to mid-7th, so that's good. 
That would be the border. Yeah, perfect. We got up early this morning at 4 a.m. and we headed off sailing from the last tip of Northern Territory and we crossed over a few hours ago into Western Australia and we're just coming up to La Crosse Island, which is just over my back there. We've come here because a direct route straight into the Berkeley River is an overnight passage and so while waiting for Alley Cat to catch up we thought we might as well just cruise and check this place out and tomorrow it's only a 35 mile sail so it's only a 6 hour sail at the most. Uh, a bit strange here, the current very strong around this island tip. You see the waves in front are very different. And then over here, it just goes glassy. Well, we went from half an order current assist to one and a half, sometimes it's fluctuating up to two knots against us. And we've only just come around the point. We've got the anchor down, we've just dropped anchor at Turtle Bay on La Crosse Island and it's quite pretty around here, um, big cliffs and the beach behind us, swirled around into the sun to the other cliffs on the other side, it's quite pretty. The one thing we can see on the beach there, I'll try and zoom in, are tracks running up but they look like turtle tracks, I guess that's why it's Turtle Beach. But very pretty, very sheltered bay. Geez, that was the quickest one. Just light on, but I don't think. Oh no, someone might run into you. <laughs> they might. <laughs> well, you don't know who else might come. No, you haven't got it between. You got it behind Pete's head. He's got like a halo. A halo. A halo. Oh. <laughs> First sunset of WA. Yeah, we're here. We've crossed the border. Yeah. yeah, if you wouldn't have told us, we wouldn't have known. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're balancing on the other. There's no bloody body here. I've been itching like shit. I didn't bring my bag with anything. You're on the bottom. No, I didn't bring. So, we're on Western Australia soil. Yes, we are. Well, sand, not soil. Oh, how beautiful is that? Oh, the turtle has gone along here. Yep. But look, it's just gone in and out of the rocks. Yeah. Oh, that's a crocodile one. That's one. That's a crocodile. Oh. Ah. <laughs> so these are crocodile tracks. Oh, you can even see the foot, the, the little toe things, the claws, yeah. the toe things, the claws. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going away. I'm going away. You can stay out there. See him run. Run, Christopher. You know when I said we should shut the boat up? And you're all right, we're all right. You're going to be covered in toothpaste by tomorrow night. I'm going to run out of That's a mosquito. Don't you feel them? Don't, don't you feel them nibbling on you? No, where? There's none. <laughs> yeah, but look at your legs. That's just too funny. <laughs> That's from previous carnage. <laughs> I can feel my legs. Paranoid. I reckon they are. We're just getting. No, I can oh, feel I them. Like where? Ones. They're on my legs. I can feel them. Rubbish. Well, if there's rubbish, I don't want to hear you whinge. I didn't whinge today. I just scratched feet. You it. did whinge. They're so itchy, point, they're so, so bad, itchy. I had to go out the back and I put the cold water down my legs to try and cool down. I was like, this is crap. How can such a little thing cause such a big bite? It's just beautiful. Yeah, that's a great facial expression, love. It's bloody hurt. No whinging. No pain at all. <laughs> how, long, how long can I keep it on for you before you start screwing your nose up? I'll start itching in. Why do they hurt so much? <laughs> Face expression. 